What's going on guys? So, I told you I'd make another duck video and these stories came out that I want to talk about a while ago so I thought, you know, I'll make it tonight. If you haven't heard, Oregon has lost senior uh, safety John Boyette and senior offensive lineman Carson York. For the season, by the way. Both to knee injuries. It's Portland Trail Boys is all over again. Disappointing. It's sickening when you know you have a good team and injuries deplete you. Like, Because no matter how good you are, injuries will kill your team and kill depth. Even if you have depth, it's like... All right, yeah, you have good secondary player, good second string players, but now your third string players are just gonna have to step up, and they're they're not your second string, and are they good enough? That's the question. It's we have good enough people to back up John Boyette with Avery Patterson, Eric Dargan, and uh, Ifo Ekpreolmu, who can play safety as well as corner. But now, can our other guys behind them step it up and play? That's gonna be the real question. I have I have complete faith in those other guys. On the offensive line, it's a little bit different. Um, Fisher, Ebert's out. Long, it looks like he's going to be okay. Uh, and for those of you wondering, Jake Long, son of Howie Long, is playing for offensive line for the Ducks. Ebert looks like, Jared Ebert looks like he's out for a period of time. I don't think he's done for the season, but we'll have to wait and see. It just... It, it sucks when you know you're this close to making it to the top. And Oregon's been to the top. They made it to the national championship. They just haven't won it. You're this close to getting to the peak of the summit and winning it all. And you lose two pretty key guys to injury in the first two weeks of the season. And John Boyette didn't even play in the... Fresno State game, he was hurt in practice, or maybe he was hurt in, in the Arkansas State game. Uh, York hurt his knee in the Fresno State game, broke a kneecap. Josh Huff, who strained his knee, is what they're saying, in the Fresno State game, didn't practice Monday. It looked like he was at practice today and maybe did a little bit of drills, but I don't think he had pads on. But he said he'll be ready to go. Uh, he could play if, if need be if we weren't playing. Tennessee Tech, so that gives me hope that he'll play against Arizona when we open a uh, league play. So thank God our number one wide receiver isn't hurt too. Knock on some wood. But it's just of all years when DeAnthony's a sophomore, Kenyon's a senior. We got a new star, pretty damn good quarterback coming in, and all you need is your defense to hold up and just limit plays for the other team and you lose your star safety the quarterback of your defense if anybody had to go down it had to be John Boyette like of course it couldn't be one of the other guys I mean if you have to lose somebody you don't want to lose that guy another guy we can't lose is Kiko Alonzo senior linebacker talk about quarterback of the defense now officially like, it was a toss-up between those two. That gave you two guys that you could look at that were the it of that defense. And now, Avery Patterson and Eric Dargan. Gonna have to step up, boys. Calling on you now. Anyway, still in for the game. Still in for the season. You know, it's football goes on. Life goes on as a Duck fan. We're still gonna win ball games. I don't seriously see this affecting our season. I don't see us losing games now. Some guy posted up there that we're going to lose two games now because of the loss of John Boyette. Uh, maybe if we lose both times to USC, but we're not dropping any other games. I don't think anybody's good enough to beat us. I mean, UCLA looked, scare looked scary. Arizona looked scary. We don't play UCLA, I don't believe. If I remember my schedule correctly, I'll go look at it to make sure. It's on the fridge. And we play Arizona at home. Arizona was... So they're going to be in the dark for a while. Arizona was at home against Oklahoma State. 
So, we'll just see. And no, we don't play UCLA this year. So, a team that looked pretty good. We play Arizona State on the road, but I really don't have a lot of faith in them. They have a new quarterback too, new coach. So, don't have a ton of faith in that performance. Oh, but we dodged UCLA. We looked pretty good against Nebraska. Thought Nebraska could contend for the Big Ten title. But guess not. So we'll see. I I think the Arizona game might be closer than I expected. But I think the Ducks will pull it out in the end. And game day could be there because Arizona's ranked now. And if they win next week, then it could be two top... Um, 20 Pac-10 schools, Pac-12 schools. See, it's been a year and I still call it the Pac-12, Pac-10. <laughs> uh, coming in. And Stanford, too. If Stanford can pull the upset this week against USC, they're, they're in uh, Palo Alto. So that bodes well for the Cardinal. USC having to come back from the Meadowlands. Maybe they'll still be jet-lagged a little bit, or maybe they were jet-lagged so they didn't get a lot of practice in. Who knows? It could vote well for the Cardinal, you know. Think Stranger things have happened, and the Cardinal did beat them when they went down there. I believe it was Andrew Luck's second year, or maybe his first. Cardinal beat them last year, but of course they don't have Andrew Luck. I know that's big, but still, you never know in college football. It'll be exciting to see how things go. And if they pull off that upset, then the Ducks are right in there to win the Pac-12. Because I don't think Stanford's that strong. Um... And they're right in there to contend for the national title because if Stanford maybe falters a little bit, and especially if Oregon beats them and maybe another team beats them, USC's not going to look that good to the computers, and it could vote well. But I could talk about that all day. So just going to get off here. Wanted to talk Ducks for a little bit. As always, go Ducks, and see you guys Saturday.